Hello and welcome back. It's about time to find a port, perhaps. Maybe somewhat to resupply, <clears throat> but also uh, to maybe switch out some of the crew, improve the morale, maybe give them shore leave. I don't know what's it gonna take. Uh, what is that? An affiliated merchant sloop. I'm not really raiding merchants, but I could. What is this? Should I come this way though? Uh, well, slavers are coming for me. <clears throat> yeah, I see that. They're far away. Easy prey, close the board, give no quarter, charge. That's probably not a good idea. Let's go full speed ahead. Full speed ahead again. Full speed ahead again. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh oh. What? Our sails are gone. Choose a course of action. We can turn. We well, we definitely can hold position. We can go half sail. We c well, we can try to. Wow, surrender? Report to what? Damn it, sales. Report to fixing the sales. Report. Well, we, they are doing that. Oh, the sails are partially repaired. <clears throat> Actually, we can use them at. Okay, let's turn the starboard. And fire the port cannons. And we're gonna use grape shot to kill people. Let's do it. Some crew went down. Now, turn to port. We're gonna shoot the other cannons as well. We're gonna turn to port again. And we gotta fire the starboard cannons. We gotta do grape shot. Well, we managed to kill some crew. They killed some crew as well. <clears throat> so we're gonna turn toward them. And perhaps rush them with full speed ahead. Okay. It's not great. I'm closing in, obviously. That's the plan. Prepare to board. Yeah. Let's prepare to board. <clears throat> I'm not so sure about my 
strategy so far. But I guess it kind of works to an extent. These people have really good ships. He has a bigger ship than my, me. So it's a... Uh, Nine versus eight. Okay. Could be worse. Yeah, we don't need the extra speed. What? She's dead already? Wow, let's do a heal on everybody. <clears throat> okay, that's a little bit crazy. What about you, Elot? Blinding Strike the Slaver. So, maybe an iconic projection. I'm not a huge fan of that skill, though. Okay, let's do a uh, aura. It's gotta be good in the long run. Can I just affect both of them? Yeah. Looks like it's doable. Or the mad. Never mind that! He went out of range. After this, we need to rest anyway. Oh, yeah. Let's just keep charming them. Oh, boy. We can do a second wind. How much health is this? 35? Not quite as good as uh, one Eder has. Maddox is pretty good. Oh, that's, that's scary. How about do a heal on everybody now? Real quickly. That's a really good heal. That's it. That's basically the only skill you want from level one. That's not bad. <laughs> Saves a party member, but also takes them out to fight, which is not great. Can I just puppet muster one of the slaves? Slavers? Oh my god, Edder's about to die. Never mind that! He's just fine. Damn right, slaver, help me out! One per encounter can use empower. <clears throat> Rogue wizard. Resistance against weapons. No, he's about to die. And I don't have any more heals. I'm not even sure what Empower does here. It doesn't give me back the... Maybe it gives me back the second van. I don't think so. Oh, the Slaver is back. 
No, this is bad. Old Engram is helping me out. Ether is back. Okay. We can use a uh, knockdown now. Elot is about to die. Yeah, this is really not the time to craft, I feel yeah. like. <laughs> Can you just take out that guy? Let's take out the captain. Then... Uh, take out the slaver. Damn. Did we miss... What? That's terrible! Did we resist it? Doesn't affect... It definitely affects us. Hell out! What the fuck was that? Fine padded armor. Slaver's grimoire. Cannot engage enemies. Lower penetration. But it's pretty damn short. It's AoE. It's not full AoE. So it can affect uh, friendlies as well. Sleep until attacked. Okay. Exceptional leather armor. It's pretty good. Exceptional arquebus as well. Hmm. All right, take all and continue. I suppose. Yeah, we probably need to rest a little bit. Can I rest? Rest and wait? I can't rest and wait, okay. So we're gonna rest and wait uh, just over here because uh, landing is too dangerous for that. Mm, yep, checking out this place. Tangaloa's Mall. It could be a dangerous place though. The fetid vegetal smell of decay alerts you to the swamp before you stumble upon it. It extends far into the distance, overgrown with ancient trees and vines. Solid patches of ground are few and far between. Crossing the morass will likely demand many miles of arduous travel. Forge ahead into the swamp. <clears throat> with patience and some careful maneuvering, you manage to keep yourself and the others out of stinking morass and on dry ground. You come upon a particularly buggy stretch surrounded by dense trees with not a single patch of dry ground in sight. With no way forward but through, you forge ahead into the bog. You're startled by a chorus of moaning voices. You spin around, searching for the source, but the moans seem to come from every direction at once. Through the trees you spot a narrow deer trail. You may be able to get free of the bog that way, but there's no telling where it leads. Uh, let head for the path. <clears throat> well, I guess he's gonna do it. Many hours of exhausting travel have put the group on edge. Even traveling companions, who are usually friends, snap and glare at one another. You wander in circles, all sense of direction lost in the eternal, dreary sameness of the swamp. You choose a random direction and hope for the best. Well, we are all injured. Your noisy attempt to flee has only made it easier for the moaning creatures to find you. Bony hands snake out of the water and grab hold of your ankles. Well, 
And we got a horde in our hands. Damn, we need to get better at survival. What? Rodcast. Can I just do a minute left to miss out? Is that really the time for the freezing chill fog? Uh oh. Can you just heal yourself? Go for a heal. Wow, what the fuck was that? Is it gonna explode? If so, should I not just stand back? What are you doing? Why are you running to your death? Let's withdraw. It's not the best, but I guess not dying is is great. Let's do wizards double. Well, like we lost everybody so far. Nah, I need to reload. This is not gonna work. Wow! What the hell was that? I think I need more uh, sturdy fighters, or we need better survivability at least. What the hell? We gotta go with the auto save, not the quick save. Hopefully we can manage it though. I know it didn't really worked out perfectly first time around. Okay, how about you do a consecrated ground in the middle so we get some heals. And I can do a missile. The broadcast is gonna explode. How did we get blown up last time? Never you mind that miss. I'll land the next one. Okay. Cannot run. So how long this uh consecrated ground is gonna stay on the Ground. Actually, it's already gone. Well, that was fast. Well, a lot is about to die. We can escape. Sounds good to me. Retargeted. Which I don't care about that. Slinger. So what kind of skills are you using? Let's go. Looks like we already used all our skills. I 
Actually, I wouldn't mind just healing. That's it. Yeah, she's still about to die. So let's do another quick heal. Which is not quick enough, actually. You call upon the souls that have agreed to follow you. Their presence distracts all foes in the area. Okay. But that's not gonna save my ass. I need to do a mirror image. How am I supposed to win this? It cannot be won. Uh, okay. Plan B. Uh, maybe... Don't go crazy about this. This is after... We dealt with the pirate. Okay. So, we just don't go there. Also, the crew is not really in the best spot. So we're just gonna go to Nekataka. That's a port, apparently. Hopefully. Unidentified merchant. I kinda wanna check out the size of this island before we go in. Hell Ramunga. Yeah, this island's pretty big. Alright. It's definitely better than Port Maya. A little bit. What is this? XP earned? You hear two crew members arguing on the deck? Wait a second... <clears throat> An argument from the deck pulls your attention away from the gentle rocking of the ship and the smooth expanse of blue and on the horizon. Half of those fish were floating belly up, cries uh, shield sister Dahlia. Better we throw out the whole catch than end up with a rot-bellied crew. They looked alive enough when we hauled them out, Irina retorts. A gesturing violently at the pile of fish on the deck. Fish die when you pull them out of water. That's what fish do. Check the fish for signs of disease. Let's judge the fitness of the catch. Oh yeah, she should be good. There are no signs of discoloration, open sores or bloated bellies. The fish appear perfectly healthy. I told you it wasn't dangerous. Irina gloats, arms akimbo. Ranger. They're in no position to throw away food. Stow the fish in the hold. See? Shield Sister Dahlia. The captain knows we can't go throwing away perfectly good meals. Shield Sister Dahlia sighs. If we take these on, Captain, there is every chance. <clears throat> Stow it, Irina barks. The captain's words is law. Uh, let's get these fish below. The pair heave the barrel and move it toward the hatch. Leaving you to return aft. Okay, I got some special food. Nekataka. We're finally here. Also, it looks like I need to heavily rely on uh, spell books to gain access to spells that I don't have. Because, damn. Oh, I don't have a lot of good spells. Hmm. 
you really need to know what you wanna what you wanna use all the time, I suppose. And not that I'm somewhat relying on AI to solve my battles. Or at least make my battles quicker. Uh, I probably should uh, pick skills that the AI can use better. At least in some cases. Because they'll have those very powerful uh, skills, but... I shouldn't uh, completely rely on them. So I reached Nekataka. Early summer, press 2. 2,823. And that's where the crew is. Who the hell are these suckers? <clears throat> As you walk down the dock, your approach is noted by a cadre of Heavily armored Omana, their leader briskly leads them to intercept you. The harbor master looks you up and down with pursed lips. She looks past you toward the ship. You're far from home, farmer. How did you make it all this way in your little boat? The Omana cranes her thick neck to look along the hull of your ship. Her expression conveys equal portions of incredulity and pity. That's a really good ship. Oh, come on, Sode. Stop shaking your lantern. You're making us look bad. Why do we gotta be farmers just because we're from Deerwood? Are you a farmer? Yeah, but you can't just assume. We got rabble rousers, too. <clears throat> As her attention returns to you, the Almana's mood becomes more formal. I'm the harbor master, Kaoha. I must ask your reason for docking in Nekataka. I'm following a giant maid of Adra, and I need uh, to see someone in the palace about it. I'm carrying uh, the finest hay in all, all of their wood. The bales, bales of it. So many bales. I must tell you to fuck off, get out of my way. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's just go with that. What is this? That fire archipelago. I'm following a giant maid of Adra, I need to see someone in the palace about it. The harbor master chuckles to herself as uh, do the woman and man behind her. Yeah, you do need to see someone, truly. I think it's the uh, animancers in the spire you're looking for. <laughs> to help with your head. The assembled guards roar with laughter and clap the harbor master on the back, of, back for her joke. Deep within you, you feel an uncomfortable roiling. You can't be certain if the sensation is physical or spiritual, but it immediately induces nausea and fills your ears with uh, the sound of blood rushing through your head. Cutting through the den, you hear a familiar woman's uh, voice speak. Each word comes slowly, falling with what sounds like the chiming of a small bell. Show them. Barat, this is not the time. Show them what? Show them what you are. How do I show them? Do I whip out my watcher powers? To the guards, shut up. To the bar to Barrett, shut up. Concentrate on folding the edge of the in-between. How do I show them what I am? Concentrate on folding the edge of the in-between. Okay, let's show them who I am. Concentrate on folding the edge of the in-between. I want to see that. You close your eyes and turn your mind inward, blocking out the sounds of the harbor and the menacing pack of guards. Soon. All you can hear is the rushing of blood in your head and a muffled chime ringing somewhere far away. Yes. Yes. That's it. Well, is this really how I show them who I am? By kneeling in front of them? What's the matter with you? What are you doing? If you're trying to scare us with some cypher mischief, save the purple flames for the tribes of the outer islands. 
The roar in your head begins to abate. The ringing of the chime becomes clearer, rhythmic. Two successive peals followed by a brief respite. respite. You realize the chime is ringing in tandem with your heartbeat. You open your eyes. The harbor master is gesturing wildly, presumably to get your attention, and yelling in your face. But you hear no words, only the ringing of the chime as your heart slows. Heart rate slows, and slows, and slows, and slows. Now. What? What is this? <laughs> Run for it! Is this really what we wanted? Come on, Elot. I think I got a ghost up my nose there. Uh, that's better. Is this really what we wanted? Wait. I need to rest or wait? I need to rest. I can't rest. Resting is not allowed in this area. Damn. Is that really what we wanted? Scare of the locals? Sure. I mean, it worked, but... Is this really... Uh, the ideal scenario. All right. So this is the defiant. We can go back anytime. How does that song go, Chorus? And now Port Marge is behind us. I thought this would be a relief. Well, not so much. Aren't weren't those people the guards? Is scaring them off really the way to go about it? Ribeiro. Need a fresh jacket of pants? Something more delicate? If you have a frame, I can fit cloth to it without fuss. The tailor eyeballs your shoulder with uh, with doing some mental calculation. Let's Take your time. I'll give you space to browse. Uh, let's see what he has. Better wins cover. What is this? Okay. Some fancy hats, but none of them actually give any bonuses. Same goes for the capes. We got a co cloak of deflection, but I don't care that much about that. It is that. not as easy as it seemed to turn a profit in Neketaka, but there is opportunity. So we got Osa as well. Care for a fish or two, stranger? Today's catch. Ripped straight from the hands of the solely winch. Let's see what you have. You'll find no fresher. Have a look. So... Hack fish. Give the resolve. Ship crew morale. Cuttlefish. Now that's pretty good. For seven uh copper, you actually feed them something that makes them happy. Silverfin is better, I guess, but it doesn't increase the morale. Well, actually it does increase the morale as well. And also we don't need intellect. Row. Might. Cuttlefish seems like a, a good deal. Let's buy 200 cuttlefish. Hunter? Just called Hunter? Welcome! Venturing out past the city. You'll want supplies. Crab traps or the like for a larger game, I warrant. The merchant sizes you up and nods. Of course. Take your time. What you what you got? Clay grub figurine. Okay. Fine dagger. Don't care about that. Yeah, this is not so great. That's all her stuff. Yeah, pass. Hard pass. Shipwright? Oh, that could help. Flint and tinder, repair supplies, 
Fedora must think I work for free. TT Roots. All right, Zamar. Let's see what you got. Be within just a. Almost had it. Damn your eyes. The sun scared dwarf gingerly picks at a splinter in his thumb, muttering. Yeah. Hazard of the work, really. He keeps up with a frustrated grunt, shaking his hand. Came in on the sloop? I can hammer your ship together if you're apt to pay me for it. Zamar bears his teeth and grins them hard enough to sound over the noise of the dock. I like to see goods having trouble with a client. Maybe there's a. It's time for a mission. Aye, Captain Radora hasn't paid me for her commission firepower. Zamar pulls at the end of his beard and winces. While I'm up to my nose in debt, the wild mare gobbles up her coin, and now. Pirates are holding my feet to the fire over some sham of a deal. Zamar vinces and tugs harder on his beard in self-administered punishment. If I don't get Redora's payment, I might as well start carving my swallow net. If it gets me a discount on your labor, I could hunt down Redora. You do that? A fair price goes without saying, Cully. Zamar untangles his hand from his beard to link his thumb and forefinger with a wink. It all comes down to blasted pans and pyres in the end, doesn't it? Zamar spits toward the dock pilings and glances back at the work still to be done. What oh, you got? Come take a look. What? 60,000? For a junk? Hit chance? What is that? The chance that it gets hit? Oh yeah, it is. Minimum crew 5, minimum crew 7, 9. Jibes, 3 turns. Wow. So these things take a long time to turn. But they are tankier. Wait, whole health? Galleon. Oh, it has weaker sails. Dragon wing sails. Well, we can pick up some repper supplies. I'm not sure if I should bring. Actually, we don't need it right now. I can always just pick up some water, lager. Well, rice doesn't make them un unhappy, but it definitely doesn't make them happy. Add your channel gun. What's the difference between these things? Oh, the range. Add your channel gun has a better range. Iron Thunderer. I got a double bronzer. That's good close range. Imperial long gun. Yeah, a long time to load it. Bunch of... Combat speed. What the hell? Recruit new crew. Oh, these things, these guys actually want uh, a sign up fee. Aside from the daily wage. Grim Cauldron. Okay. What the hell? Job traits. Even the novice deckhand wants 100 up front to a uh, one per day daily free. That's crazy. 600 up front. Forget about it. We don't need it. I'm too broke. <laughs> and maybe uh, we we're gonna concentrate on the on land for now. 
Anyway guys, this is a good enough time to take break. Thanks for watching and see you next time.